ever pondered on the nature of polyamorous relationships and how they contrast with monogamous ones? Let's start by defining these terms. Monogamy is a relationship model where an individual has one romantic or sexual partner at a time. It's a model most of us are familiar with as it's widely accepted and practiced in many societies. Now let's talk about polyamory. Derived from the Greek word poly, meaning many, and the Latin amor, meaning love, polyamory is a form of consensual non-monogamy. It involves having multiple romantic or sexual relationships with the knowledge and consent of all involved. The key difference between monogamy and polyamory is the number of partners involved. But it's not just about the numbers. It's also about the nature of the commitments made. In monogamy, commitment often implies exclusivity. You are devoted to one person, romantically and sexually. In polyamorous relationships, commitment is viewed through a different lens. It's not about exclusivity, but about maintaining the agreed upon terms within each relationship. This might involve balancing time and emotional investment among multiple partners, or ensuring clear communication and transparency in all relationships. In essence, polyamory challenges the traditional notion that true love and commitment are inherently exclusive. It offers an alternative perspective, suggesting that it's possible to love and commit to more than one person at a time. Yet, it's important to remember that polyamory, like monogamy, isn't for everyone. Both are valid relationship models, and it's up to each individual to determine what works best for them. Some people might thrive in polyamorous relationships, while others might find fulfillment in monogamous ones. The goal here isn't to say one model is superior to the other, but rather to shed light on the different ways love and relationships can be experienced. Indeed, polyamory and monogamy are two distinct ways of experiencing love and relationships. Let's delve deeper into the intricacies of polyamorous relationships in the next segment. Jealousy, a universal emotion, can manifest in both monogamous and polyamorous relationships. As we delve into the realm of monogamous relationships, jealousy often takes center stage when one's partner is romantically or sexually involved with someone else. It's seen as a violation, a breach of trust and fidelity. On the other hand, in polyamorous relationships, jealousy isn't a stranger either. It can still creep in, casting a shadow over the dynamics of the relationship. But let's take a moment to understand how polyamorous individuals deal with jealousy. It's not about brushing it under the carpet or pretending it doesn't exist. Instead, it's about addressing it head on with open communication and setting boundaries. It's about acknowledging the emotion, understanding its roots and working through it together. This approach might sound rather unconventional to those accustomed to monogamous norms but it's a cornerstone in the foundation of polyamorous relationships. Now let's introduce a novel concept, compersion. In the context of polyamory, compersion is the feeling of joy one experiences when their partner finds happiness with another person. It's often dubbed as the antithesis of jealousy. Imagine feeling joy instead of jealousy when your partner goes on a date with someone else. It's a radical shift in perspective, isn't it? This shift, however, doesn't happen overnight. It's a journey of self-growth, introspection, and open-mindedness. It's about unlearning societal norms that have been deeply ingrained in us and relearning a new way to love, a new way to relate. It's about understanding that love isn't a finite resource, that it doesn't get divided, but multiplies. Thus, jealousy, while common, is managed differently in polyamory through open communication and boundary setting. It's about changing the narrative from jealousy to compersion, from exclusivity to inclusivity, from possession to freedom. It's about embracing the fact that love is limitless and can be shared in myriad ways, without diminishing its intensity or depth. The essence of commitment varies in monogamous and polyamorous relationships. Now let's dive into what this means. In monogamous relationships, commitment is often defined as exclusivity. It's a promise to share your romantic and emotional life with only one person. For many, this is the bedrock of their relationship, a symbol of their dedication and love for one another. On the other hand, commitment in polyamorous relationships takes a slightly different form. It's not about exclusivity, but more about maintaining agreed upon parameters within the relationships. It could mean showing up for planned dates, being transparent about new partners, or ensuring everyone's emotional needs are being met. Just because there's more than one partner involved doesn't mean that the commitment is any less significant. Polyamory reframes the concept of commitment. It's not about being with only one person, 
but rather about the promises you make and keep within your relationships. The polyamorous perspective thus challenges traditional notions of commitment. Stepping outside societal norms can trigger misunderstanding or judgment. This is something those in polyamorous relationships often face. You see, monogamy is the predominant relationship model in many societies. It's the blueprint we're handed, the norm we're taught to aspire to. But polyamorous relationships challenge this norm. They invite us to question the traditional structures of relationships, marriage and family. Imagine a world where love isn't confined to two people, where relationships are not a two-player game, but a team sport. In this world, marriage is not always a party of two, and family structures are flexible, fluid and diverse. It's a world where love, in all its forms, is celebrated. However, stepping into this world might mean facing misunderstanding or judgment from others. It's not an easy path, but it's a path that offers the freedom to love without limits. Polyamory, therefore, invites us to reconsider societal norms. Managing multiple relationships can be emotionally and logistically complex. This statement rings true for many, regardless of whether they're navigating a monogamous or polyamorous relationship. But when it comes to polyamory, the complexities can indeed multiply. Imagine juggling not just one, but several relationships. Each relationship has its own dynamics, its own unique chemistry, and its own set of expectations and needs. This is the reality for those who choose polyamory. It's not just about sharing love with multiple people, but also about managing time, emotions, and resources across multiple relationships. At the heart of successful polyamorous relationships are strong communication skills. In a monogamous setting, communication is between two people, but in polyamory, the communication web widens. It's about being open, honest, and clear with each partner about expectations, boundaries, and feelings. It's about navigating the complex emotions that can arise, such as jealousy and insecurity, and turning them into opportunities for growth and understanding. Next comes time management. Let's face it, time is a finite resource. In a polyamorous setting, balancing time between partners can be a challenge. It's not just about dividing time equally, but about ensuring quality time is spent with each partner, respecting their individual needs and the needs of the relationship. This is where prioritization and planning come into play. And then there's emotional labor, often an overlooked aspect of relationships. In polyamory, the emotional labor can be higher as you're caring for the emotional well-being of multiple partners. It's about being empathetic, understanding, and responsive to each partner's feelings, while also taking care of your own emotional health. It's a delicate balancing act, to say the least. But those who choose polyamory often find joy and fulfillment in this complexity, in the richness of experiencing love in its many forms. So, while it may seem daunting, Remember that every relationship, be it monogamous or polyamorous, comes with its own set of challenges and rewards. It's about finding what works for you, what aligns with your values, and what brings you happiness. Indeed, polyamorous relationships require an elevated level of emotional and time management. But for those who choose this path, the rewards can be as abundant as the love they share. Self-love and self-esteem play crucial roles in our relationships, in the grand tapestry of human connection, these twin threads, self-love and self-esteem, intertwine to form the very fabric of our relationships, whether monogamous or polyamorous. Imagine them as the strong, resilient warp and weft that hold the intricate patterns of our relationships together. Let's delve into the realm of self-esteem. It is, in essence, our internal mirror, reflecting how we perceive ourselves. A clear, undistorted mirror fosters a healthy self-image, which in turn influences how we navigate our relationships. Now imagine this in the context of jealousy, a common emotion experienced in both monogamous and polyamorous relationships. When self-esteem is high, the shadow of jealousy is less likely to loom large. Instead of seeing a partner's other relationships as threats, individuals with a robust sense of self-worth may find it easier to experience compersion, that unique joy in a partner's happiness with another person. Conversely, a fragmented mirror, one distorted by low self-esteem, can amplify feelings of jealousy and insecurity. In this case, a partner's other relationships might seem like personal failures or rejections, leading to emotional turmoil and strain within the relationship. Now, let's turn our attention to self-love. 
This is not about narcissism or self-absorption. Instead, it is about cultivating a deep sense of respect for oneself, acknowledging our worth and nurturing our well-being. Self-love is the foundation upon which we build our relationships. It allows us to set boundaries, express our needs, and engage in open and honest communication, all fundamental aspects of healthy relationships, whether monogamous or polyamorous. So, you see, self-love and self-esteem are not just about being kind to ourselves, they're about equipping ourselves with the emotional tools necessary to navigate the complexities of human relationships. They help us to foster understanding, compassion, and joy in our connections with others. A strong sense of self-worth, therefore, can foster healthier relationships, irrespective of their nature. Health concerns, particularly regarding sexually transmitted infections, are often raised in discussions about polyamorous relationships. This is a valid concern, but it's crucial to note that health risks can be effectively managed in these relationships, much like in any other. It's all about responsibility and communication. In polyamory, regular testing for sexually transmitted infections becomes a normal part of life. This is not simply a precaution, but a responsibility towards oneself and all involved partners. Clear communication about health is also paramount. It's about being open about one's health status, any changes in it, and discussing potential risks. Safe sex practices are another aspect of this health management. This includes using protection, having informed discussions about sexual history, and making conscious decisions about sexual activities. It's about creating a safe space where everyone's health is prioritized. Thus, health and safety are prioritized in responsible polyamorous relationships. It's not the number of partners that determine safety, but the practices and communication within the relationship. Legal recognition is another complex aspect of polyamorous relationships. Imagine being in a relationship that is as meaningful, loving and committed as any other, but the law doesn't see it that way. This is the reality for many polyamorous individuals. Unlike monogamous marriages, polyamorous relationships lack the same legal recognition, which can lead to complications in areas like property rights, hospital visitation and child custody. Let's consider property rights. In a monogamous marriage, if a couple purchases a home together, both individuals are typically recognized as legal owners. But in a polyamorous relationship, if three people contribute equally to the purchase of a home, the law may only recognize two of them as legal owners. This can create a precarious situation for the person left without legal recognition. Hospital visitation is another area where this lack of legal recognition can have heartbreaking consequences. In most places, hospital policies limit visitation rights to immediate family and spouses. For polyamorous individuals, this could mean that they are unable to visit their partner in a critical situation because they are not legally recognized as a spouse or family member. Child custody is another realm where polyamorous relationships face legal hurdles. In the event of a breakup or divorce, decisions about child custody are typically made based on the best interest of the child. However, in a polyamorous relationship, a non-biological parent may have played an equally significant role in raising and nurturing the child, but they may not have the same rights to custody or visitation due to their lack of legal recognition as a parent. These examples highlight the need for changes in the law to accommodate the realities of polyamorous relationships. Legal recognition of these relationships is not just about validating a lifestyle choice. It's about protecting the rights and interests of individuals living in polyamorous relationships. Legal recognition, therefore, remains a significant challenge for polyamorous relationships. It's a reminder of the work that still needs to be done to ensure that all forms of love and commitment are recognized and respected. In sum, polyamory and monogamy are distinct relationship models that require mutual respect, honest communication, and consideration of each partner's needs and boundaries. As we journey through the labyrinth of human relationships, we've uncovered that jealousy, a common emotion, can be a significant issue in both monogamous and polyamorous relationships. It's how we address it that makes the difference. In polyamory, the concept of compersion, feeling joy for a partner's happiness with another person, plays a significant role in mitigating jealousy. When it comes to commitment and fidelity, it's clear that monogamy and polyamory have different viewpoints. Polyamory challenges the traditional notion that true love and commitment are inherently exclusive, instead focusing on maintaining agreed-upon terms within relationships. 
We've also seen how societal norms and expectations can influence our perceptions of relationships. Monogamy is the predominant model in many societies, and stepping outside of this norm, as polyamory does, can lead to misunderstandings or judgments. However, it's essential to remember that these societal norms are not universal truths, but cultural constructs. In terms of emotional and time management, polyamorous relationships can be complex, requiring strong communication skills, time management, and emotional labor. Yet the same can be said for monogamous relationships. It's not about the number of relationships, but the quality of them that matters. Self-love and self-esteem play crucial roles in both monogamous and polyamorous relationships. A strong sense of self-worth can lead to compersion, while lower self-esteem may result in more struggles with jealousy and insecurity. Health and safety concerns, particularly around sexually transmitted infections, are legitimate issues. However, in polyamory, these risks are often managed through regular testing, clear communication about health, and safe sex practices. Lastly, it's important to acknowledge the legal and social recognition challenges that polyamorous relationships face. The lack of legal recognition can lead to complications in areas like property rights, hospital visitation, and child custody. Understanding and acceptance are crucial as we navigate the diverse landscape of human relationships.